What? What? <laughs> what, man? The Bucks. The Bucks signing Julio. The Bucks already. They they already got Mike Evans. Like this dude, like like six foot ten. They already got Chris Godwin. They wow. They they just signed Kyle Rudolph. Um, don't they still got Brait as well? And, and it's it's like I absolutely adore how, and I know it's Tom Brady, but I absolutely adore how the Bucks they take care of Tom Brady. They have continued. What is this? His third year there, I think. They have continued to supply him with a plethora of weapons. They continue to do it. And they're not stopping. Now, I know some some that somebody gonna say, oh man, Julio, Julio's washed. He's washed. He's over the hill. Julio ain't coming there to be the number one. He ain't even coming there to be the number two. But real quick, one thing that I'm wondering, if they're signing Julio, does this mean that somebody's on the move? Does it mean, because that's like for them to have who they have already. Does it mean that somebody's on their way out? Because I, I, I'm thinking like, and, and it's nice. Hey, stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. And the more the merrier. That's how I feel. And I, I would love, I would love it and respect it too. If they were just like being greedy, being like, Hey, no, come on, man. Oh, didn't they just sign uh Russell Gage too? I want to say they signed Russell Gage, but don't quote me 1,000% on that. But anyway, them bringing, <laughs> them bringing on Julio Jones, boy. I, hey, I, I give it to the Bucs, man. I give it to him. I give it to him. You got a, a Hall of Fame quarterback. You got uh, a receiver who's, he could be well on his way to the Hall of Fame, all the numbers that Mike Evans has been putting up. Um, and now as a backup, as a third or fourth option, you got another Hall of Fame wide receiver. They just did this a couple years ago with Antonio Brown. Well, last year and the, and the year before last. Hall of Fame receiver, and he was their third or fourth option. Like, man. But I just, I don't know, man. I just feel like some somebody might be on the move. Because it's... A lot of times when in the NFL, and hey, if I'm wrong about this, all right, cool, whatever. Um, but a lot of times in the NFL, when you see certain scenarios, when it's like, oh, man, that team, they got that, and they got that, they got him too, oh, and they got him, wow, it's too good to be true. A lot of times it is. A lot of times it ends up being too good to be true. A lot of times something ends up coming out just a little bit later where it's like, oh, oh, that's why. Okay. Ah, okay. Now it makes sense. Mm, okay. Now I get it. Ah, oh, all right. But like I said, they <laughs> they could just be loading up. They lost to a team last year who was loaded up. Now, again, they did lose. The, again, I'm talking about the Rams. They, the Rams did lose Robert Woods to that uh, ACL injury early on. Um, but then when Odell Beckham Jr. came available, when Von Miller came available, Ram I love this about the Ram Rams are like, hey, come through. Come here. Give me that. Come hey, no, we we getting you too. We can never have enough. The Bills. The Bills are another team. They continue to do the same thing. They like, oh, you, oh yeah, and you, and you. Come here. We're gonna load up. So these teams are just, it almost, it's sort of a little bit, not, not necessarily this move, but this, this is like the Lakers, um, this is sort of like the Lakers signing Melo to where they, they used to be a very special player, but they may not be the same as they once were, but they can still contribute. And you know, if you, you get them on some hot games, it's going to be like, ooh, love it. Um, but yeah, this good move from the Bucks. I respect it. I I, I like it. Um, and yeah, that's <laughs> wow. Tom Brady, like he's getting older. When you get older, 
things don't work like they used to. But so the Bucks are like, they continuing to realize that and they're like, hey, Tom Brady, things may not be the same. Things may not work like they used to, but we are going to make sure you're supplied with guys around you to where it makes your job that much easier. Tom Brady, we don't want you worrying about a thing. Even though Tom Brady can still throw, he can still play. Um, he can never really run. That's not his thing. He ain't worried about that. But he can still play. Uh, but the Bucks, again, they... <laughs> oh, they, they got my boy, Brashaw Perryman. I forgot they re-signed him. Okay, so I was right about the Russell Gage thing. I just had to look it up. So, yeah, we got... So, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Russell Gage, and Brashaw Perryman. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow And Godwin who, who had an ACL injury last year he, They didn't even put him on the PUP On the physically unable to perform list So he gonna be out there Wow they, Boy these boys got some receivers man They got some receivers Now I, I just think I think somebody's on the move I really do But hey we'll see But um Mm, it, I don't think it's a lock that he makes the roster. I mean, we'll see what the contract terms are, but <clears throat> if they keep him, that'd be nice, man. That They will be loaded at receipt. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Russell Gage, Rashad Perryman, Julio Jones. These boys will be loaded. And that's not even including the tight ends or the running backs. And I know there's been all that talk about Leonard Fournette and him being overweight. He'll be fine, man. He just, hey, Leonard Fournette, I, I understand what you were going through. Because food is just so good. Food is so good. Like, like people who, there's people who like food, and there's, then there's people who love food. Food can, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. Now, one more thing before we get out of here. Um, with these Bucks uh, and Julio Jones signing, the signing, it, it makes even more sense uh, for Julio because last year he went to the Titans. I was like, okay, yeah, he went to the Titans. That was his first year being, well, he got traded to the Titans. He didn't necessarily choose. Well, he might have chose. He might have had some influence, whatever. He got traded to the Titans. It's like, all right, cool. Um, but now he free agent, first time in his career. Um, and he chose the Bucks, so he gets to go against the Falcons at least two times a year. And it will be three if both teams made the playoffs and they end up matching up in the playoffs. But he gets to go against the Falcons at least two times a year this year. So I'm sure, I don't think Julio got any beef with the Falcons. Because it was not this ugly breakup or anything. It wasn't anything like that. It wasn't the nasty ending of a relationship. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, but still, you could be like, Julio could feel like, hey, like, all right, Falcons, they got rid of me. Uh, yeah, I went to the Titans last year. <laughs> my hamstrings were still my hamstrings. So hopefully Bucks, they got a bunch of bananas ready to go. So Julio and them hamstrings, they'll be good to go. They need to make sure they keep him extra hydrated in that, that Florida heat in Tampa. Um, and just, again, had him bananas on next to his locker. Have them on the sideline wherever he's standing there during training camp. Because them hamstrings, man, they he got to be stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. But um, he'll get to go against the Falcons uh, twice this year, as long as he remains with the team, and get to show them, like, hey, I still got it. I still got it. So we'll see what happens next. Again, I, I just, I still feel like somebody could be on the move. But if I'm wrong, then, hey, kudos to the Bucks. For going all in. Kudos to the Bucks for really building up that roster. Kudos to the Bucks for really trying to build like these, like they're like a bunch of transformers. Cause again, they got all these tall giant receivers. If one of their receivers was to record a video, it would look like this. Cause they so tall. You wouldn't even be able to see their face. I would have to change everything so you'd be able to see the receiver's face. But for me, I'm I'm short, so. You can see me crystal clear. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And we out.